Mihail asks, if someone has a wide ISA and a nutated sacrum, in order to get the pelvis and the spine into an inhaled position, would doing an exercise with the hips flexed at 90 degrees promote further sacral counter-nutation? No, it would not, and here's why. So just like when we look at the phases of shoulder flexion, where we see the posterior compression of the scapula emphasizing the up pump handle and the internal rotation position, we're going to see the same thing in the pelvis. As I move the hip through 90 degrees, I have a posterior compressive strategy. This promotes internal rotation at the hip. We also get a concentric strategy of the pelvic diaphragm. If this sounds strangely like an exhalation strategy, you're correct. The exhalation strategy would be a nutation of the sacrum. If the sacrum is nutating through 90 degrees, then working at 90 degrees is probably not the best choice of strategy. So if I'm set up at 90 degrees of hip flexion, I'm most likely going to be closer to an exhaled strategy. I'm going to be using a propulsive strategy and a nutated sacrum. It doesn't mean that I can't use a box squat as an example. It just means that I need to create a better bias towards inhalation. Depending on needs, it may be as simple as just elevating the box to keep me out of that nutated exhalation strategy. I can also consider two other elements, which is breathing and loading strategy to the box. If my goal is to emphasize counter mutation, I have to start my squat from an inhale position. So I'm going to bias myself towards an inhale by breathing in, and as I come down to the box, I'm going to maintain a breath hold. If I deload my weight onto the box, I also promote a yielding strategy internally as I try to manage the expansive pressure of my breath. So by using three simple strategies, an elevated box, an inhale, and a full load onto the box, I can increase my expansive inhalation counter-nutation capabilities. Two other simple strategies I can use to promote counter-nutation is a heels elevated toe touch, or a heels elevated goblet squat or a similar variation. 